So five months after sanctions, after the start of special military operation, and I am in Sochi, the most southern city in Russia. And I'd like to show you the prices in Magnit grocery store. Let's go. Only this airport, I mean southern airport uh, of Russia is open, only in Sochi. And the rest are closed because of operation. And let's see what prices are here, for example, for example, apricots, very good real apricots with the red side, 125 rubles for kilo. And what else we see? Pictures. I love this one. Not not like balls, but this form of pictures. This it's price 200 rubles for kilo. And my favorite avocado. It's not typical uh, vegetable or fruit for for this region, for the th south of Russia. Of course, it's imported. And um, where is the price? I don't see the price. <laughs> this price is for plum, for yellow plum, 130 rubles. It's local for sure. What else I can see here in grocery store? I see bananas for 60, for 63 rubles. It's good, it's maybe from Ecuador. I don't know where. San Sebastiano, Fazenda. Okay, <laughs> I don't know the country of, of production. What else? Oh, local grape. It's very tasty, 125 rubles for kilo. <clears throat> uh, this watermelon is not a watermelon, typical, with a red, uh, red uh, inside it's yellow inside you know and it's uh, of course more expensive 69 70 rubles for kilo I am I'm not sure it's better than with red middle and what about potato today my friends told me that potato in Moscow oh, yeah. costs 27 rubles for kilo and here is 51 the best price and this is price for traditional watermelons, uh, 20 rubles with uh, red middle. 20 rubles for kilo, good price. So what else we have? This is the first time I'm here because uh, I spent here only few hours in this uh, city and then I, I will leave it. Uh, let's check, for example, what would you like to see? What would you like to see? Let it be yogurts with uh, local also and it's with discount it's 60 rubles for one bottles uh, half a liter and it's uh, with the filling of uh, blackberry and the same price for with with different fillings what else what else Mm -hmm. I know that you're interested in in milk. I don't drink milk. 150 rubles for uh, you see the measure. It's uh, not one liter and a half, but one liter and 400 grams. It's a special trick now. Everybody think it's uh, one liter and a half, but it's a little bit smaller. <laughs> And food for kids. Uh, you know, kids' food is always expensive because our kids need the best food, the best quality. 41 ruble for one small yogurt. And you see kids like 
waffles and <laughs> sweets and candies. Um, for example, very good candies, milk candies with a chocolate cover. With discount is 44 rubles only, uh, 116 grams. This is traditional Russian. I remember it since my childhood. What are, what are they doing? I don't know. What are they looking for? <laughs> and here is the department of teas and coffee. I think I need some coffee. Oh, I love this one. This is mm, Ireland cream. Uh, oh, 320 for 150 grams. In Moscow, I buy it for 200. Sochi is located in Krasnodarsky area. And this is the area where a lot of sunflower fields are located. And of course, uh, if we grow a lot of sunflower, sunflowers, so it means a lot of sunflower oil. And you see 130 rubles for one liter of perfect oil. And a lot of different kinds. So many people here. And what about sugar? Maybe you have heard that sugar uh, has become much more expensive after sanctions. Let's see, five kilos, five kilos, 330 rubles. So a big package, five kilos. It means one kilo is about 65 rubles. Yes, yes, more expensive. It costs about 50 rubles for kilo. What I see, a lot of prohibited Coca-Cola. Really? You haven't left Russia yet, but the price is very expensive. It was about 50 rubles for bottle. And now, uh, for example, my favorite Coca-Cola, uh, no sugar, no calories, 93 rubles, 94 rubles for one bottle. And um, it's amazing, but one liter cost only 102 rubles. And this is price for half a liter. All Russian grocery stores have its own special department of uh, alcoholic drinks. Uh, a lot of vodka, a lot of co different cognacs. It's very popular here to drink to drink um, hot drinks and I'd like to show you the cheapest vodka the cheapest is I think this one this is uh, 260 rubles for half a liter it's really very cheap for vodka with discount and again vodka for example, uh, 320 rubles. The legend of the North. I don't drink alcohol, that's why I don't know uh, the types of vodka. But um, before I liked champagne, and this is uh, Brauder So, one of the best uh, champagnes. I think it's from Crimea, our favorite area Crimea and with this count it's only 390 rubles for dry champagne it's not for me not beer not champagne I like water I like coffee and I like eggs Oh, I can eat eggs every morning. For example, a special price, uh, 48 rubles for 10 eggs. You see, good eggs, so cheap. One egg is less than five rubles. And you can choose for expensive, for example, for 130 rubles. 
the son of Kubain. Kubain is the name of this region. And big and natural. <laughs> of course, these are not natural. It's a joke. It's only with discount. Different kinds of cheeses. And in my country, people love to eat herring. We're not Scandinavian, but we love herring. It's our traditional uh, dish. Uh, for example, 120 rubles for 200 grams of very good herring in oil. Or, or this kind. This is Atlantic herring, um, 240 rubles for 400 grams. This is really very nice, but I prefer to buy to buy, for example, this such pieces or a big fish uh, without peeling. Uh, let me see where is it. Ah, like this. I like to peel it by myself. For example, uh, four four big uh, herrings. It's one one kilo. Uh, costs look 280 rubles only one kilo it's very good and of course very useful mayonnaise <laughs> I, I never buy it I like it but I never buy it and cottage cheese And sour cream, uh, for example, I like this one. Sour cream, uh, only with discount 73 rubles for 300 grams. Very good. What else would you like to see? Hmm, pasta. A very popular thing. Mm. 8 rubles for 450 grams. This is good. From Russian grain. All with discount 60 rubles for 350 grams. This is for special traditional soup lagman, Caucasian soup. And as for me, I prefer this kind of flour, uh, rice, for example, it's uh, 100 rubles. It's very, really very good. And this is for flour for uh, pancakes, uh, one kilo, 74 rubles. It's a little bit more than one dollar. I mentioned that uh, Today is uh, exactly uh, five months after sanctions have passed. And we see everything is good. And some uh, goods and products are even cheaper than before. And no shortage, shortage at all. Everything preserves a lot of preserves, a lot of food for um, our pets, our favorite pets. And again, again, <laughs> I don't have anything in my hand. What do I need to buy? I will think over. And um, I'd like to say you thank you and sub subscribe to my channel. I will show you everything interesting about, um, about Russia. And about Russian people and about Russian history. See you!